Today I will show you one really cool technique that will help you to select colors in Photoshop much easier. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanja and welcome to another really fun episode. I'm really thrilled about this one because today I will show you one really cool technique that I came up with a while ago that will help you to select certain colors in Photoshop much easier and faster. I already did a tutorial on how to select anything in Photoshop. I show you there several different techniques, several different ways how you can select things in Photoshop and you can watch it on a link right here. And as you already know guys, there is no like universal selection tool in Photoshop. You need to know several different tools, several different methods how to select things in Photoshop and to wisely choose your method for the current situation to be able to do your job much faster and easier. And this selection method that I will show you today is another way how you can select things in Photoshop. And after this tutorial, you can add it to your arsenal of selection tools to be able to use it in a proper situation. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, today we'll start with this image and I will show you this same technique on a several different images just to make sure that you understand what's going on here. So. For example, we want to make selection of only this yellow color on the screen. We can use several different selection tools, methods. We can use maybe quick selection tool and try to select only yellow. It's cool, but what I don't like, I don't like to be uh, included in this selection, those bubbles. So I don't want these bubbles included and quick selection tool is not a good tool for this. Then we can go to channels and try to see the contrast, the channel It's green. We can do that, it's cool, but I don't want this part to be included, so channels are not good selection tool for that. We can use magic one maybe, we can go maybe the wisest way is to go to select and color range and try to select yellow color out of color range. We cannot go just to yellows because this is not enough contrast and we cannot just exclude certain things from selection, but we can go to sample colors and just sample our yellow and then press and hold shift and try to sample as much things as we can. But now if you overdo it, you can just press and hold alt or option key and just exclude certain things out from selections. And you can play with the fuzziness here. This is too much. So maybe something like this, press OK and we have our selection. Now we can go to hue and saturation adjustment layer and see what we did. So we can change the yellow color, it's cool, but as you can see, it's not everything included. So we have a lot of missed things right here and right here and over there. So it's not bad. Probably you can do it with the selective colors, but uh, not selective colors, sorry guys, with the color range uh, selection tools, but you need to spend a lot of time tweaking this selection, make it perfect. There is an easier way so the easiest way to change this yellow color is let's delete this layer mask it's actually to go just to hue and saturation adjustment layer go to yellow and just change yellow color as you can see i can zoom it here now everything is perfectly included in our selection all these details here small details etc so if there is a way to transform this hue and saturation adjustment layer into selection, that would be perfect. And actually there is a way. I figured it out by experimenting, but I will now show you, I will try to explain you the logic behind this. So as you can see, we have two layers and basically those two layers are identical except when we move this slider right here. So then those two layers are different only in those two positions where the yellow color is and orange color because orange co color contains yellow color that's why we are changing orange too so everything else stays the same so if there is a way in photoshop to compare two layers and to have as a result just the difference between them that would be awesome and actually there it is there is difference adjustment layer that i already explained in my tutorial of explaining all adjustment layers. So you can watch that tutorial on the link right here. So we can just go and put our hue and saturation adjustment layer into a difference blending mode. And now we only have a difference between those two layers. So if we zero this out, you will see there is completely black screen because there is no difference between those two layers. Now we will uh, use this in as uh, advantage. So 
I will, I will not mess with the hue slider or saturation, I will just mess with the lightness slider and I will move it all the way to the left. So that's it. I will move the lightness slider all the way to the left and then I will make a merge copy of everything visible on the screen. So I will use a keyboard shortcut, the famous keyboard shortcut, Shift Control Alt or Shift Command Option E on a Mac. And that's it. I have this merge layer. Now I need to desaturate this. I will again use keyboard shortcut because I love keyboard shortcuts because they make my workflow faster. So it's Shift Control U or Shift Command U on a Mac. And now I have black and white version of that. Then I will add levels adjustment layer and just boost the contrast here, actually boost the whites. And then I will just try to boost the blacks too. And I don't care about this because I can really easily remove this. I just want to make sure that everything what is here is selected. So as you can see, this is cool. And let's leave it like that. So I can go back on this layer, use black brush, right? And just brush out this because I don't need this. I can leave this. I can leave this because actually this is just a reflection on those uh, drops from yellow color. So you will see I can leave it or I can delete it, whatever I uh, find convenient. And now I just need to convert this into selection. That's so easy to do. Just go to channels, press and hold control or command key and just click on RGB channel. That's it. That's all you need to do. Now let's go to create a new hue and saturation adjustment layer just to check the result. And we have that mask right here. So I will hide everything. Okay. And this is our starting position. And this is our mask, right? And now if we move the master slider, I don't need to go to yellows. Now because I have a mask, I can move master slider. And guys, this is perfect. Let, let me show you. That's it. Like we did with just hue and saturation adjustment layer uh, put, set on the yellow colors. But now we have a mask. We can use that mask for a lot of things. I will show you that. But as you can see, as you can see, I have included all the reflection parts. So that's cool too, right? And now you can maybe want just to change the contrast. You can add curves adjustment layer by holding Alt or Option key, just drag, drag it and replace with the original mask, actually copy the mask to another layer. And now I can just go and change the contrast of this or make it like darker, I don't know, whatever I want. You can. In this situation, it's not in situation. It's not so creative, but in some other situations that I will show, you can do a lot of things. So let's jump to another image. Let's use this parrot for example. Again, you can use any other selection tools, but today we are practicing this changing hue and saturation adjustment layer into selection. And this can be done really fast, guys. You can create an action and just press the button and do all the things automatically, or you can just do things faster. I will show you how fast am I with this a little bit later. So now again, a little bit slower. I will create new hue and saturation adjustment layer, right? And go to blue color. So I can just click here and choose, choose the color. It's obviously blue. And then I want to boost everything just to see if my selection is okay, because this is more than just the default blue colors. We need to expand this range slider. So just expand it a little bit. Actually, right here, I need to expand it right here. And that's it. So now I have only the parrot selected only the blue colors on the parrot. And now we can change everything what is affecting by hue and saturation adjustment layer into selection again, moving the lightness all the way to the black, we have like a crawl or something, I don't know. So black parrot and put this into difference. Shift Control Alt or Shift Command Option need to merge everything. Shift Control U or Shift Command U to make it black and white. Now I can press Control or Command L to load levels and just make everything brighter. Just boost a little bit darks and and this is it. So with this I can I can choose the range of what will be selected. I will just stop here, press OK, go to channels control click on it. And then I can do whatever we want. Actually, I will create a new group, I will apply a mask on the group, you will see why. And inside this group, I will add curves adjustment layer. Now I can maybe add some contrast. 
in luminosity blending mode because I want to affect only the luminosity, not the colors, only the lights on the image. So I can add some contrast. That's cool. If I want that or I can dodge in and burn it, I can go with one curse adjustment layer for dodge, invert the mask, press Ctrl Command J to duplicate it. Again, if you're not familiar with the dodging and burning, you can watch my tutorial about that right here. Then this is for burn. And now I will use just the white brush and just maybe burn this and make like beam of light is going from up above here on the backs and everything else is darker as you can see guys I'm just playing with this blue color everything else is completely intact so this is really really cool of course this is just showing me showing you what you can do so before and after in case you need to do some things in your composites etc this is really cool way how you can select things so be creative with this you can use any other adjustment layer for that you can use just a regular layer and paint maybe some some i don't know tattoos on a parrot's uh, feather or tattoos on a feather it doesn't make sense but you can do whatever you want so let's go to another photo and this one is cool too so there is some situations where this technique is not so convenient because there is no like universal selection tool selection technique as i already said so i will show you here where you can use it and where you can struggle it a little bit with so let's go to hue and saturation and for example let's select this red parts of the t-shirt so we need to go to reds and as you can see because the skin and the hair this color of hair contains a lot of reds we are changing the skin and the hair too we don't want that so we can try to narrow out our selection down we want to exclude orange right that's cool we are almost getting there let's do it a little bit more and this is it now we are excluding a little bit of the hair but now it's too much as you can see this is like a sweet spot we have some parts here that we not cannot include unfortunately because we will mess with the skin here with the hands we can later exclude this from selection but this is how you need to do it and then when you find the, co the range of the colors you just need again lightness down put this into the difference merge everything together black and white use levels and just make your selection however you want also I will use black color and just just remove from the hands here and a little bit from the face maybe and guys now I will load this as a selection and go to hue and saturation just to show you the result and as you can see you can change the color of the shirt with the hairs almost intact this is really tricky situa situation and sometimes this won't work you need to go and play with some maybe manual adjustments etc because this is really really hard situation but if you want to select maybe just the pants and do some cool things with the pants we can do that really easily go here select blues again we need to expand some colors on the blues because the original are not good enough so this is cool all right let's zero this out all the way with the lightness put this into difference again same everything is the same merge everything together black and white levels and just choose what will be included in this selection this this is pretty cool i don't need to include everything maybe i just want like semi-transparent selection that's cool too but here i will include this and i will go here lower the selection and this time we'll go with the curves so now we have this image and what i want to do i just want to add some contrast to the pants to make them a little bit more pop up so as you can see this is actually included in my selection i can really easily remove it not with the white with the black that's cool so if you're not familiar how to see only the mask i'm holding alt or option key and clicking on the mask that's it and guys as you can see this is just adding a contrast on the pants on the blue color not around this uh, i don't know what is black dark uh, thing i forgot the english word sorry and this is before like a little bit washed out and this is after a little bit punchy look i really like it so that's it that's what you can do for example with this photo and say i'm done with your touching 
All right, so let's go to another photo right here where this technique is really cool. Why? Well, because if we want to select only the reds from the car, we can go again to select color range. And actually, I showed this car, this photo in my previous tutorial about how to change any color in Photoshop into black or white color. So if you want to watch it, there is the link right here. So we can go to color range and uh, try to select the reds. I'm holding shift and clicking right all over the car. So I want all these small things to be selected. But as you can see now, hmm, I have background. I don't want background. So I need to go back and forth and play with this slider. And this sometimes can be really time consuming. Maybe I don't want this. So I want everything here to be included. As you can see, guys, it can be done. Trust me, I tried it and it can be done. You can do a perfect selection just with this. It's just a little bit more time consuming. But with, with this, with the hue and saturation adjustment layer, see how easy it is. You just need to go to reds. That's it. You can just maybe exclude this orange things from the selection. Or you can manually tweak the mask because you cannot have everything. But that's it. This is how you can easily change every single pixel here with a different color. And now I will just transform this into selection and then I will show you. So make everything dark, put it in a different blending mode, merge everything together, make it black and white, use levels and just boost everything and maybe with this black you can control what of the floor in this case will be included or not so this is cool i will press ok go right here a lot of selection and let me show you there are a few things that we can do we can use curves right and with the curves i can go again to luminosity because i don't want to affect colors and saturation i just want to affect lights i can just add some contrast to the red color or as i showed in the previous tutorial I can go here, put it in normal, and just what I did, I just made the car black or, or white. So I just made the car black, and now I want to be even more dark with the more contrast. So with this masked color, I can really make the impact here. So really nice, see before and after, really nice effect. Read guys, and that's it. It's really simple, really easy. I just show you several different examples to make sure that you got a point. I hope that you understand the logic behind this. And now everything is up to you. Just go through this tutorial several times and you will definitely master this. It's really easy technique, but it's really powerful technique to know because it can save you some time in a certain situations. And then it's up to you to choose it when you want to use this technique or some other selection method. Right, guys, I really hope that you like this episode, that you appreciate this content. If you do, press that like button down below, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and also ring that bell icon to be notified about all the future episodes. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer them. And also, guys, if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, if you want to support me, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description and you will get also some things in return. Have fun, experiment and see you guys in my next fun episode. Bye bye.